Welcome Salina and Saline County voters. My name is Janet Hansen, and I have the privilege of uh, speaking to the seven candidates for USD 305 Salina Public Schools School Board. Um, seven, the school board members represent the voice of the public, and they provide guidance, oversight, and vision to the districts that they serve. Salina area voters will select four candidates for the school board this, this election. I'm happy to have you joining us tonight. Do not forget to exercise your right to vote, and that means you have to be registered to vote. So you must do those two things. The last day to reg register to vote is October the 15th, 2019, and of course the general election is Tuesday, November the 5th. You can find information about your poll location and your registration status at www.voteks.org. Check it out. Welcome, Roy Miller, Jr. We are going to get right to the questions because I believe that that is the best way for the citizens to get to know you. So I'm just going to be asking you some questions. We're going to start with the conventional question. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, a little bit about myself is that uh, I was a uh, 20-year Navy, uh -huh. retired from the Navy, living in Salina for 30 years. And uh, they basically, that's about it. And I have been interested in education for quite some time. Okay. And so where were you born and raised? I was born in Port Riley. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. My dad was military. 30 years, mm -hmm. and uh, he spent time over over in uh, in World War II, and then, well, just ap and just before he got out of the service, I joined the Navy, uh -huh. and I've been all over, east and west, north and south. Oh. So you've done a lot of traveling. Did you see Did you see combat or? No, I. Uh, I could say, I could, unfortunately or fortunately, I missed it. Yeah. I got stationed on board a ship uh, that just came back from Vietnam. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I went to an aircraft squadron. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, I, but you, but it's still, you saw a lot and you saw the American military in action. So mm -hmm. did you serve mostly after the Vietnam era or before and after? Before and after. Okay. Went in in 58, came out in 78. Wow, that's a long, so you did a lot of service And work. a lot of traveling too. Yeah. And so where did your education occur? Where, oh, meaning your, your <coughs> fundamental K-12 education, yeah. Well, <laughs> I never went to the same school more than two years in a row. Yeah. Uh, following my dad around when uh, he was in the military himself. So. Mm -hmm. it, so I'm just a military brat. Yes, that's and, kind of the characteristic uh, so, of the... So I spent time in Michigan, Louisiana, Junction City, but basically all my, a lot of relatives in Junction City. Uh -huh. And uh, Philippines, spent some time going to school in the Philippines. So that was Louisiana, that basically all my education was on military, around military bases. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, and you were, you were probably in the company of other uh, military brats. Uh -huh. So what do you deem your connection to USD 305 Salina Public Schools? Mm, well, I had, uh, my kids went to, went to school here, uh -huh. but they're no longer, they're already out of school. Yeah. And I've got a, uh, a stepson that is in school right now. Okay. Uh, going to South High School. Great. So, and so, what has what have you observed about his educational experience? Oh, his educational experience is pretty good. He's getting good grades. Mm -hmm. But what I'm more concerned about is the is the uh, way education is going in uh -huh. schools nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, education that uh, uh, how should I say it? Uh, uh, being so diverse that sometimes some kids get lost in the process. Uh -huh. So. Okay. And and so what does getting lost look like in your in your eyes? Not being taught the proper fundamentals mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, uh, 
home ec and so forth like that. Okay. They're, they're teaching them so much about te technical stuff that they're not teaching them about the basics of life. Mm -hmm. That's about it right there. So for you, what would a 21st century education look like? 21st education? Well, teaching, teaching, teaching the boys how to take a, take a, repair a car, uh -huh. and, and uh, teaching the women, the girls, how to, how to uh, how to take care of take care of a household, uh -huh. which, uh, but also be in the workforce. Yes. See, you've got to have that also. Well, you're probably aware that Slime Public Schools is really working to include vocational education as mm -hmm. well as college prep education in their in their um, in their preparation so in general we've talked a little bit about this but what do you see as the role of public schools in Kansas listening to the parents uh -huh. parents should and parents should be more involved in the schools themselves because uh -huh. uh, there sometimes they um, things get put aside or lost in the transfer of students and so forth like that. Uh, the, the main thing, get the parents involved. And because there's, there's places that they teach a child something in school, but they don't inform the parents. Mm -hmm. And parents sometimes are too busy doing something else other than what they, paying attention to what the child is. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, the problem of, uh, of discipline in the schools too. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a more uh, more uh, discipline in the schools in order to take and may, be able to teach. Teachers can't teach something if uh, if, the, if the classroom is unruly. Mm -hmm. And you have to have the parents back up in order to take and be able to take it. Have 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 the child uh, obey the teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what would parent involvement look like for you? Um, Going to go, uh, take, going to the uh, classrooms, mm -hmm. if if, if uh, uh, checking checking up on their student, because uh, I have checked up on my on my, my, my students, mm -hmm. find out what, how they're doing. I keep a track. I was keeping track of, of their grades and helping them with their grades, helping them with their homework. Mm -hmm. and that was that's the main thing. And if they had a problem in in school with a bully or something like that, then then I'd like to know about it. Yep. I, do, I wouldn't want them, want them to keep it a secret. And then, because and, I did have that problem uh, when, when I was in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I had that problem with, with uh, uh, three, three kids uh, assaulting my, my boy. Mm -hmm. And so I went, and talk, talk, I went and found out who they were and talked to the parents about it. Mm -hmm. Of course, one of them didn't particularly like it, but said his son was just was, was an angel. Yeah. But that you run into that. And so, so, um, so you're you're all for parent engagement, and I think I think uh, Saline Public Schools is interested in parent engagement oh, yeah. and does oh, yeah. work on that. Mm -hmm. um, what you, unique capacities would you bring to the role of school board member? Uh, to be interested, to mm -hmm. be to be involved. Mm -hmm. To be able to go to the schools and see see what's happening in the schools, mm -hmm. and see if the uh, and write down what uh, what they think might need to be changed, or bettered. Okay, and how would you uh, how would you see yourself contributing to the vision of the district? Mm -hmm. Well, that means that remains to be seen. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And what is your level of satisfaction with funding? For Kansas Public Schools. Well, the teachers need to have be paid more, mm -hmm. but if, in being paid more, they have to teach more. Mm -hmm. Okay, they can't just let let the students students go by by the side. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there's this, they had the system of uh, leave leave no child behind. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to take and teach a child the way they can be taught. You can't force the child to learn something. You have to, you have to be able to uh, let the child grow, but you can't force him. You've got to, got to let them, uh, you, you have some children that are slow in learning. Mm 
-hmm. Okay, so you, you've got to, you've got to be able to uh, join in with him and help him, mm -hmm. not not uh, and not not hold him back mm -hmm. or not force him ahead to where he's not learning anything. And so, um, so funding you you would want to see teachers be paid more, but you also uh, feel like there needs to be more accountability. Is that a fair statement? No, that's a fair statement. Okay. And um, so if you could, uh, do you have any thoughts about how you would change funding for the school, across, for schools across Kansas? Well, let's put it this way. As at the present time, I have no idea about the funding. Mm -hmm. That's one, one thing uh, I would like to find out about, mm -hmm. and I won't find out about it until I get into it. Okay, all right. What have you done in order to prepare yourself for this role? For this? Uh, for the role of would-be uh, um, public school school board member? Mm, nothing. Okay, all right. I figure I figure I get in there and start learning and see what's happening and, and try to do what I can to uh, to change things if they can be changed for the better. Okay. All right. Um, finally, I'm just going to go ahead and let you talk right to the voters about uh, why they should support you for the Salina Public School Board. Well, let's put it this way. I've seen so doggone many things happening. Uh, I see things on Facebook, which, which the, I finally got a computer. And... Uh, I see how things are, cert certain things are being taught that shouldn't be taught in school, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, I, believe, I believe that they should have, uh, I don't believe in transgenderism, mm -hmm. okay? I believe you're born a male, you're a male, you're born a female, you're a female, and, and nothing in between. And that's the way I, that's the way I feel, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, I don't believe they should be teaching Islam in school. If, uh, the, I think, if I remember correctly, the Constitution says that there's a separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. And if there's a separation of church and state, they can't teach Christianity in schools, but why should they be teaching Islam? Mm -hmm. See, I'd rather, and another thing is, they're taking the Pledge of Allegiance out of the schools. I need, I'd like to have that back in again. The Pledge of Allegiance and the, and the, and the, and the playing of the, uh, Star Spangled Banner, patriotism. Mm -hmm. they, they haven't had much patriotism being taught in schools lately. And I'd like to see that brought back. Well, I guess I can reassure you that when I've been in the schools, I have heard the students recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, well, I'm talking about maybe some of the other schools that I've, I've uh, maybe in some of the other states, mm -hmm. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what I'm looking forward to is sometime, somewhere, maybe in the future, of the uh, National Board of Education doing something about this. Mm -hmm. See, because they're they're sitting back and doing nothing, mm -hmm. and letting things happen that shouldn't be happening. Well, one of the kind of the tenets in America is that. Uh, local school boards do retain control over content, and even though there's been a lot of work on standardization, mm -hmm. there's still that lean towards that local control. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and uh, I know a lot, a lot of things started back in 1958 when I was uh, stationed elsewhere. And I started hearing about how they're how they're uh, teaching kids. Uh, so doggone so many different things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, instead, instead of uh, teaching them patriotism and so forth like that, they're they're having a problem. They're having problems right now because of it. Mm -hmm. See. So, what kind of content? Um, I know I've heard that you that you want patriotism taught. What kind of content uh, that is being presented concerns you? Well. Main thing is is uh, the uh, 
Well, I can't say anything about the universities. That's, that's one of my main things right there. Liberalism is one thing. Uh, liberalism is, uh, is a downfall. Okay. You, can't have, you can't have liberalism and, and, be, uh, and have, a, have a good country. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for your time. And I think, uh, I think you've done a good job of uh, talking to, directly to the voters. Thank you. Well, I hope so.